Welcome everyone to a new Tenerife travel vlog. It is a gorgeous day here in December in Tenerife. We're in Los Cristianos, gorgeous clear blue skies. It's uh, Friday, it's currently uh, 20 past three and we're heading to Tenerife South Airport to catch our Ryanair, you know, no easy jet we're flying with today, easy jet flight back to Liverpool. Now the airport at the moment has been crazy busy. Uh, I'm there with the cars every day. The car parks have been full departures has been crazy security has been nuts so i'm going to be interested to see just how well the big new departures building all the work they did how well that is coping with how busy it is historically first two weeks of december now used to be quite quiet but it's absolutely crazy on the islands at the moment and our busiest two weeks are still yet to come those two weeks over christmas new year they are the busiest so i don't know how the airport's going to cope then however we're going to see what it's like today flying with easyjet they've already texted me uh, and told me that there is no food or drink on board so that doesn't uh, start us off particularly very well busy flight busy airport no food and drink on the plane so that's no dinner for me i do normally have a nice little toasty or something but uh that's not going to be happening today by the looks of it so i'm gonna to have to try and get something in the airport i'm sure everyone's going to be doing the same thing so it's going to be interesting to see what has opened up in the airport recently as well because they have, as I've said, done a lot of work. There's a lot of new things gone on. So we're just generally going to see what this experience is going to be like. Busy December time, flight with EasyJet, no food and drink already, which is a bit disappointing. I think they should always have something for every single flight. I do find that amazing that they just sell everything on the way out and then the people on the way back get punished. But we will find out. Let's jump in the car. We're going to head to the airport and we'll show you exactly what it's like going through there, what is available. We'll pick ourselves up a drink and a snack or something. I wish I'd have known a bit earlier because they have only given me about an hour's notice that there is no food or drink. So I would have normally probably gone the shop here and bought something, but we have got to hit the road. So uh, welcome along everyone. Let's uh, jump in the car and uh, hit the road and get to the airport. So here we are then, a very busy Tenerife South Airport. Now the car park here is full. I uh, did plan on being dropped off, but as you can see over there, they've got the barrier across and the car park is full. This is at three o'clock in the afternoon, crazy. It was full this morning as well. Loads of buses around, loads of people waiting around. I'm honestly not particularly looking forward to this. I think this is gonna be a bit, a bit of bedlam, to be quite honest, but hey ho, it's Friday. It's also a bank holiday today as well, so that does make things a little bit busier. But I'm gonna head straight on in, so I don't wanna waste any time. I've got no bags to drop off. I've just got hand luggage, so we'll head straight in and uh, hopefully this is going to be quite pleasant i hope okay well as you can see it is crazy in here the queues for the check-in desks are massive glad i've got no suitcase to check in wow well it really is a disheartening feeling isn't it your holiday's over and you arrive to this and you've got to queue up and check in in all of these queues it's just absolutely this is the beginning of december this used to be quiet time i'm gonna keep saying it Look at the queue here, I've got to battle through a queue to get in a queue. I'm certainly glad I've got no suitcase. So this is our flight here, the Liverpool EasyJet. And uh, we're going to head straight through here, through security, can't film, so I've got to be careful with that. Not allowed to film through security, so I'll catch you the other side, I'll let you know how long it takes. It's currently 15.45, so two hours before the flight. See how long security takes here. Well, all through security by 10 to 4. Not bad. I was selected for a random swab test, uh, which took an extra five minutes. The lady did say it's crazy busy as well. We are chatting, saying how busy it is. But uh, we're all through and done. Not bad at all, really, considering. So I'm going to have a quick mooch and duty free. See if anything jumps out at me. And then we'll go from there. They don't like filming in here either, unfortunately. Well, as you can see, there's actually a lot of uh, cigarettes all empty. All for, That shows how busy it is, all the cigarettes sold out. Right, well, I'm through duty-free where I can't film. And a lot of the shelves were empty in there. I've never seen it like that before. Sold out of cigarettes and everything. Our flight says it's still on time, but look how busy this area is. The whole airport is rammoed. I've never seen it this busy ever. I feel like I'm traveling on Christmas Eve or something. Crazy busy. Let me just see with ours. It just says uh, gate announced at half past four so we'll keep an eye on that it's currently 26 degrees in here so it is a bit warm as well i would say with all these people in here it's not particularly cool i'm in just a t-shirt and i'm pretty hot right i'll we'll keep an eye on that and uh, we'll have a wander down see if anything takes our fancy 
For anyone in the comments, let me know if you've ever seen Tenerife Airport this busy. We've got a few new different shops have opened, Parfois and also Mango there as well, but I've just never seen it like this. We're never gonna get any food or drinks here at this point. It is crazy. Beginning of December, I've never seen it. Let me know in the comments. Okay, so I've come to the main food area, which is a bit chaotic. The quietest place is gonna be upper crust here. So I'm gonna grab a little drink and maybe a little sandwich in upper crust if I can find something. Let's give you an idea on prices here. 565 for a hummus wrap, 350 for a nest tea. Drinks aren't cheap, are they? Not at all, but there's all kinds of different baguettes here. I'm gonna see if I can find any that take my fancy. Oh, a nice pano chocolate, looks nice. You get something savory though, is what I was hoping for. Wanted something a bit salty, savory. Right, so a baguette is uh, basically five euros. I'm gonna get one of these ham and cheese, look quite nice. Just straight up ham and cheese, does look quite nice. I might get a little muffin as well. And a drink's probably gonna cost about 10 quid this. Right, so I've now come into the back of Upper Crust. I'm gonna have a little bite to eat. Ham and cheese, baguette, muffin, crisps, water and Aquarius was 15. Not the cheapest, not the best place to sit either, right next to the toilets. I think that's why there's so many seats here, I think. I'm gonna quickly eat this and go, but I've never seen it like this before, it's crazy. The car park's still full outside, I've just had a text. I've never seen it like that, cigarettes sold out and everything. So yeah, be warned if you're passing through here, leave plenty of time, bring your own drink, bring your own snacks if you can. And uh, yeah, give yourself plenty of time to get to the gate and stuff. Whole mix of nationalities as well, I'd say. You've got Germans, Scandies, Brits, it's not all just UK flights, but I've never seen it like this, never. But I'm gonna enjoy this, this does look quite good actually. It does look quite nice. I'll just show you, it does look quite nice and fresh. Good ham in there, nice little chocolate muffin. So yeah, that's what I got for 15 quid. It's not bad, it's not great, is it? But I'm gonna dig into this and we'll have another little wonder. So since there's uh, no food or drink on the plane, I'm gonna gra grab one more drink in W8 Smith's because that Aquarius has just gone. So I've only got a water now. I wanna grab another drink from W8 Smith's, maybe a chocolate bar and then I'm all set. We've got 10 minutes till the gate's announced. Time's going very quickly when it's this busy. It seems to fly by, never seems to have enough time. How much are these Maltese truffles? These are gorgeous, 10 euros. It's not bad that, I do like those truffles. Right, drink. Let's see, this is three euros a bottle of Aquarius. I think I'm gonna go for one of these. I like, if you've seen my travel days before, you know I like these. Uh, well awake, you know, I think I'm gonna need that after this flight. Vitamin well awake, a bit of vitamin water will do me nicely, I think. Right, anything else? Chocolate bar, maybe? Mm, let's see how much these are. In fact, I've already got chocolate, because at least from work bought me some chocolate bars, so thankfully, I've already got some Kinder Bueno, so I'm all good with that. Just remembered. Right, okay, join the queue. Well, if you know, you know. I'm gonna say nothing else than if you know, you know. Uh, vitamin water acquired. It was a five euros, so a bottle of vitamin water, would you believe? Crazy. Right, let's see what gate we're on. Okay, here we go then. So we are C39. Now they do give you a good 40 minutes to get yourself to that gate. And that is for one reason. You do have to go through the, uh, the Brexit stamp, as I call it. You do have to have your passport stamped. So there is a queue for that. So we're gonna head that way. It's right in the new section where it normally is. Did have a feeling it would be there, but always good to wait. So we're gonna head right to the other end now, right past Duty Free where we came in. There's also this little pop-up Duty Free that's uh, now here, selling cigarettes out of the wall. Interesting way of doing it. But uh, yeah, we're gonna head right down now to those new gates, go through the passport stamp. Although I don't have to do that as a resident of Tenerife. But uh, yeah, everyone else does. Make sure you give plenty of time because you have got to queue up and get through that stamp. So this is where we now go through the passport scanner and get the stamp. Well, I don't, I just show my ID card, but uh, this can be a big queue. This is where you've got to make sure you give plenty of time. This is quiet today, but it can be very busy, this line. Okay, so here we are then in the C gate. So there is a few gates here. 
Uh, these are all normally UK flights, normally. But yeah, to come into here, if you've got a few flights at the same time, you can face big queues at the uh, passport stamp there. But thankfully, it was nice and quiet. You've got these two little new stalls that have opened. You can get sandwiches and stuff and from that one. You've got like candy and toys and stuff in there. And then another cafe down here as well. There's toilets in this section too. Uh, I'm liking how quiet it is here today. The problem is that, you know, you can't, I find you can't really utilise these cafes and stuff because you don't know if your gate is definitely in here. So you don't want to come through the passport stamp and then your flight gets announced and it's right at the other end of the airport. So that's the only problem I find is you can't 100% guarantee that you're going to be going from here. Otherwise, I would have come through here and got my sandwich and not sat by the smelly toilets, etc. Um, so yeah, do just make sure you like, leave plenty of time. There is quite a few nice options, quite a few nice cakes and stuff in that one uh, over there. It's nice that we've got these options now. This is going to be opening up as well, another food market. But as I said, if, if you come through now, when your gate's announced, I came as quick as I could. It's now what, 25 to 5. Gate was only announced five minutes ago. You still don't leave a huge amount of time to sit and have a full-on, you know, meal and drinks and stuff. So how do you know? if you're definitely going from here to come through and enjoy all these, you know, food places and stuff. But uh, there you go. I'm absolutely knackered. It's boiling hot. I will say that. It's hot in here. It's a hot one out outside today. It is nice. 25 degrees today. Sunshine. I'm going to sit here, I think. Just watch a few planes and let the time tick by. Got a little Jet 2 out there. Yeah, I am surprised just how busy the airport was through the other side. This side's lovely. But uh, through there in that main area, you saw on the footage there, I've never been through the airport like that. I fly through here quite a lot, as a lot of you will know. And uh, never seen it like that. Let's have a look at these prices. Twix, two quid. Kinder Bueno, 210. And then these waters, I think these are slightly cheaper in these machines. You can get one for 170, is about the cheapest you're gonna get from these machines. Take a water on the plane with you. But right, it's time for a little bit of a chill. I'll catch up with some emails and uh, wait for the flight to open. Check seat at the front of the front door, then we'll be on our way. One baby, one baby, yes. Yeah, one baby, love. Looks like we've had a couple of calls. You see the first officer, Daniel Devaney, says hello. Welcome. Just in charge at the front, so we've got Liam, Gina, and Emicia. Very shortly, there'll be a safe demonstration, which I appreciate you've probably seen before. It does only take a few minutes of your time, please give the attention it deserves. Once that's complete, push it back from here, hop to the DC facing one way. Uh, passing uh, off over the sea on the left, round the back of it, over the top of the Tenerife North Airport, and then we're over the sea all the way until we get uh, until the southwest coast of the UK. Not a lot to see out the window, it's going to be dark soon anyway. Flight time, about 4 hours and 15 minutes. Dan's got the pleasure of flying you back to Liverpool today, he'll speak to you later on, give you an update on the arrival time and the weather we can expect. In the meantime, please sit back, relax and enjoy the flight. Thank you.
So we did have some lovely views as we took off and the sun was going down as well so it did make for a nice sunset as we were flying. The flight itself was again very smooth, 4 hours 15, although I must say that the leg room, the, well the extra leg room in seat 1A was pretty non-existent with that big wall in front of you. I wouldn't say it was an extra leg room seat although it was pretty private, it was good for me get loads of editing done they did also uh, have like tea and biscuits and cakes and chocolate bars etc on board but not really any food and uh, this was my favorite bit coming in those lights love it so welcome everyone to Liverpool first time ever getting on a bus at Liverpool wow very unusual getting on a bus must be the time of arrival or at least we're first off the plane Sitting in row one, I'll talk about the flight in a minute. But a uh, bit of a first getting on a bus here. Okay, well, welcome to Liverpool, everyone. That was, it was actually a very good flight, but both the airports let us down today. Tenerife extremely busy, and they're landing there. The airport's empty, no planes around, and they parked us basically in the middle of the runway. Had to wait 20 minutes for the buses to be loaded, freezing cold. I really didn't understand the logic with that. There was no planes parked up. I had to wait for the bus. The bus was freezing because they wouldn't close the doors. Through security, it's a doggle. But yeah, just waiting around. It's freezing cold. I don't know why we had to wait for a bus and why they put us on buses. Very strange. But thankfully, it looks like Mum's here to pick us up. So that's good. Here we go. Here's Mum's strider here. Expertly waiting. Look, brushing me on. you got two minutes. Come on. Right. It's like a bush took a trial all over again. <laughs> right, get the cases in quick. Three stars for camp. Here we go. Stride on. One half minute. Oh, jeez. You're going to lose all your stars. Oh, hey. You can have them. <laughs> right. We're in. I think this is cold. Taxi for, taxi for me. You know what? You're right there, you lad. think this is cold? This is positively... I don't think this is cold. I do think that I was just completely baffled by that arrival at Liverpool. I've just wasted 25 minutes waiting for a bus to bust me 10 yards. Really? Yeah. The airport's empty. No no planes on the stands. Parked us in the middle of the runway and bust us in. What? Like a whole 10 yards. Oh. Not only that, the bus started going all over the place just to go like 10 yards. Crazy. Well, they've got to keep the bus driver employed, haven't they? He'd only be working from home, wouldn't he? Well, here we are. We're in. All done and dusted by 5 to 11. It would have been even earlier if, you know, I didn't need a bus to bus me 10 yards. <laughs> Crazy. New clock. Bit of a, new clock. Bit of a Disney Mid theme going Disney, on, you know. Disney theme going on. Are you going to put the kettle on? I'm going to put the kettle on, make you a nice brew. Yeah, please. A proper English cup of tea with English milk and English you water. All that, that, all that. Could you want a sweetener? No, I don't do no, no, sugar. No, no sweetener. One sugar, please, oh, yeah. I, I, now, you want that. But I'm craving a pint of the rather and a brandy. Yeah, and so I'm happy to swap now. All right, thanks. All right, thanks. So if you're happy with that? I would. I'm like wishing the swap here. Yeah. yeah. Oh well. All so, right. bus for ten yards off the plane. Crazy. That's yeah. not like Liverpool. No, very. I don't understand if it was all full of planes. Yeah, yeah. But it was empty. Crazy. And then they drove you like halfway down the runway to then drive you all the way back down the runway to like instead of just going in a straight line to the building it went like all over the place frustrating because you, you've landed and you you've yeah and i paid i paid for row 1a like, so i could be first off the plane and i was first off went onto a bus well fair play we saved ourselves a fiver by 30 seconds yeah it was quick <laughs> rapid <down. laughs> well, you'd have been 10 minutes earlier oh you'd have enjoyed tenerife airport today oh. Like you'd have loved it. Or, or just when it was roasting hot. And it was hot in there as well, yeah. It wasn't pleasant. They, they, won't, they won't turn the aircon on. It's that Spain law. is a law in yeah. Spain with certain standard buildings can't have the air no, conditioning. It, it was warm when we flew home Sunday night. It crazy. was like 26 or 7 in the... in the. Yeah. It's crazy. And once you've got... Once it's busy, all the body heat. Yeah. No, it was horrible. It wasn't pleasant. Flight was good, but both airports let me down, is what I would say. But... You took off on time, you landed on time, and you're here before 11 o'clock. Can't be bad. No. And the flight was cheap. Exactly. I paid 80 quid, and that's with bags on board, an extra leg room, seat 1A. It's 
can't be bad, can it? No. Can't be bad. Not bad. I mean, your taxi from the airport to this house going to cost you more than that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Garvey's rip-off cabs. Garvey's cabs. <laughs> like street cars, but worse. So, what's the plan for in the morning? Uh, be up, probably Starbucks. You're going to make some bacon, I think, around lunchtime. Well, Get I'll, the crispy I'll bacon on, you know. Starbucks. Will you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you're going to be up, are you? Get me up. Right. Get me up. Get you up. Yeah, I plan on getting on. I was going to just up. say, it's not late till about quarter past eight. That's all right. I was hoping for a nice little frost outside as well, you know. <laughs> well, we'll see, see if I can arrange that. No, I don't think there's any frost here. No, it's too warm. It's right. But what is due to about Seven degrees at the moment. Howling winds, apparently. Oh, lovely. Can't wait. Bring it on. Uh, we don't want howling winds for the game on Sunday, do we? No, so if you are... Uh, just tuning in, I haven't mentioned that yet, but we are off to the game on Sunday, yeah. Everton Chelsea. He, he hits me with it on Wednesday night, Thursday morning, yesterday. Oh, Dad, fancy going to the game? I thought you were taking the mic up. No, jump on, get, I get said, the tickets. Yeah, ha, 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 son, lovely, lovely. Then he goes, no, I'm serious, get on it. <laughs> get on it, yeah, get, get on it. it. So we, Bit of stubble or we, whatever, you know. Well, we, we, we got on it. Dad's got, got some surprise tickets. He's not telling, got, me not, telling me, not telling me where he's sitting. He's not telling me where he's sitting, but it'll be on the vlog. Do I get to have a chat with, like, Sean Dyche? And well, you know, like, we'll you see what happens. Arrange yeah. the subs and you, that. You, you, you never know, do you? Right. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Right, get the, get the kettle on. Because right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to brew, Jerry. Why have we still got pumpkins? It's Christmas. It's, uh, it's Christmas uh, time. Uh, 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 Catherine's very reluctant to let That's me with see the them. pumpkins. Um, they're not pumpkins, actually. They're called gourds. Right, and they're still. They're homemade sausage rolls, eh? Yeah. They're still. Well, got mini batten bags going on and on. They're still as fresh as ever. So it's such a shame. I think I'm going to make a soup with them. Oh, no. <laughs> Pumpkin <laughs> soup is horrendous. I don't think they're very, I mean, they're quite decorative, but they're not very Christmassy, are they? No, what else we got going on here? Oh, yeah, we've got yeah, yeah, Capri yeah, stringers yeah, going on. Yeah, we've got a lemon, oh, six lemon drizzle layered slices, you know, a few breakaways. We've got mini batten bags and all. Oh, these are all healthy, oh, go ahead bars, we don't want them, they're too healthy, them. That's a good little stash. You've got some on selection box. I can nab into that, you know. There, there Might be a day missing. A, there is a bar on your bed of the quality street, you know, the bars with the the purple one. I don't do the purple one, quality street. I don't do quality street. Oh, I love the purple one. Oh, no. And I don't do the purple one, I'm afraid. No, the purple one Rich and fruity mince pies, don't do them. What else you got in here? Where there's originals, sugar free, Pringles. Oh. oh, got a few sachets of prime there going on. Lovely. There we go. What's With this? A... Oh, syrup sponge. <laughs> nice. And Pack of, of bacon. course, bit of bacon going on. Cathedral City. Do you like a bit of cheese? <laughs> I got the miles. One. Just going around your whole kitchen here. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> have we have we hit the do you know what I mean? Last someone time? someone likes the Muller corners. Home, you Strawberry shortcake. That we had nothing here suitable for you. Ah, you got my juice though. Thanks very much. I like me innocent everything. juice. Something you can't get in Tenerife. There innocent you juice. You can't get that in Tenerife either, can you? Or no. well, you can. No, it's not. It's always like thick cotton. Ah. It's the same English bacon everywhere, and every bar gets the same English bacon supply from the same place, and it's all the, always the well, same. We we'll have to vlog how you cook that. Right. To your really? satisfaction. It's not rocket science. No, no, it has to be done just right. I mean, what, like, the, we, like, like the well, well done sausage rolls, are it well done, them, aren't they? They are perfect. They are Iceland Greg's. Yeah, I can get them. Can you get yeah, them? They're just about seven euros a box. Really? Oh, no. They were <laughs> nothing like that. Really, seven euros. Yeah. <laughs> well, note that Catherine has already been at them. So she's yeah. tough one. Can't resist a little sausage roll. Who's, ah, that's you in the morning when I get you up for the Starbucks, that, Dad. No, this is me in the morning. That's you in the morning, that. Yeah, that's what I just oh, said. No. That's <laughs> you, me getting you up for the Starbucks. And this, this stems back to that's when we were a child. That's been that, yeah. He loves Pluto. Pluto. Mug, yeah. And, that's been uh, going a long time, that mug. There he is. Look at that. i tell you what we have to show tomorrow as well. What? The Christmas tree. Right, okay. I'll show that. Yeah, yeah. I'll show that tomorrow. That's a very, Disney very Disney Christmas tree, tree, isn't it? Uh, it's been up since November the 4th. Mm. <laughs> Who changed their wiper blades recently? Do you know how I know? Someone changed their wiper blades recently. 
Who was he? <laughs> what goes here, you know what so, I Someone like. changed their wiper blades because that, that's a wiper blade adapter. Oh, right. That's what it is with here. Uh, it's off a wiper blade, that. I wondered what that was. That's from a universal one where you can put all the different attachments on depending on your vehicle. I've wondered for weeks and weeks and weeks. Well, I've just sold you, Mister. You should have WhatsApp me. <laughs> I've asked you. Should have WhatsApp me. I've asked you. I've asked Catherine. Well, see, you've got to ask a car expert. So that can go in the bin. I presume so. I don't know who, who changed their wipers recently. Not me. Well, bin it then. Not me. <laughs> Get My it in the bin. In Actually, your white car needs new wipers that you drive by your home. Right. Is that was that. It. I've started it the other day. Got it all. You know, yeah, you, just so yeah. when I'm driving to Starbucks tomorrow, uh, I can't see. Well, well, I'll guide you. I'll get up with you. All right. So we'll go down to the... There is a good part well, shop well, down the road, actually, where we'll get some wipers. Early. Looking forward to Not this. coming until I lie in right. bed, you know what I mean? Don't want one with FOMO. You coming to Starbucks? Depends what time. Oh, <laughs> half eight, nine o'clock. Nah. <laughs> that was, that was, that a, was a quick, positive. easy answer, wasn't nah. it? <laughs> Where's your top from? Zara. Actually, <laughs> got it in Zara in Siam from, Mall. Yes, it is. From it's from Zara, Zara in Tannery in Siam Mall. Yes. Oh. It's a medium. I'm sure, you can get. I was going bit. to get a large, but I got a medium. Andrew, you are such a Mickey taker. It's a little bit revealing, and she sat on a cold chair. Yeah. And it's, 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 it's skin at the back. Right. It is a bit <laughs> yeah. So. I remember you buying it. I know. You don't think all these pearls are going to wash off? <laughs> you hand wash it. Have you finished now? Hand wash it, don't... Yes. Yeah. Finished. Yeah, you know, because you hand wash your stuff, but then shrink mine and dad's shirts. Yeah. You know, can I just say something about your haircut? Yes, I didn't get the skinhead, because you went on about it last time. No, normally you get your line. Yes, because I didn't get the skin fade, yeah. so I've gone for the line halfway down. You've got the line halfway down. Yeah. Did you slip with them? No, See, you went on about how I look like I'm someone from the military or the army when I get yeah, the skinhead. Yeah. Plus, it's you, cold over here. So I said, give me there. a one. And then he said, where do you want the line? So I said, do it further down because yeah. otherwise you can't see. Right. So okay. me go faster, Stripe. Yeah. Helps me go quicker. No, to be, to be fair, you still have a head of hair. So to me, well, yeah, a, very, fade, a very thin one. Yeah. No, the fade... I'm going to be like him hey, by the time I'm like sure 35. Look, like, you need the fades because yeah. you've got no hair, but you have got hair. Right. Do you know when I was a kid, yes. all this going for a skinny fade? Yeah. My mum and dad just used to give me two and six and get a short back and sides. Yeah, and look how you ended up. It was short back and sides, trust me. Yeah. Used to put a basin on my head and just shave up to it. Oh, now you're just like, like peaky blinders. <laughs> short sides, bald head now, aren't you? Uh, no. Give anything from your hair back. Turkey. <laughs> Turkey hair. Imagine that. Come back with a with a with a with a Rooney job. That hasn't worked too well either, has it? No. Hey, for what he spent, you know, not at all. So it's coffee in the morning. It's bacon butties. We're going to show the tree. Yeah. We've got, we've got a busy little vlogging day. Yeah. We're going to be out and about. Game on Sunday. Uh, Mum's making a tiramisu. A bit concerned about that, but we'll we'll go with it for now. Don't be concerned, don't have any. Can we just confirm? Just just I mean you're laughing there. Can we just confirm? It's masculine. Can, can you just confirm what you made it with <laughs> last time? <laughs> Mum made a tiramisu with creme fraiche last mistake. time. My mistake. My mistake. Right. There's talk of a Christmas market. Yeah, yeah. Oh, then we for the yeah. Got to go to Liverpool Christmas Market, then the casino afterwards. Oh, wow. That's going to be like a Yorkshire yeah. pudding wrap for dinner and all that. Essential Waitrose ma mascarpone. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Only, I was hoping to do the, the the market tomorrow evening, but it's blowing a gale. Is it going to be? Oh, don't be so ridiculous. When else are you going to do it? Up and out and in there. <laughs> going to get it done. It was snowing last time we went. Oh, it was horrible. It was not Last snowing. year we went, it, it was, was snowy. It was dreadful, melting, sludgy, yeah. horrible. We sat in that little hut. Oh. And you had two Yorkshire wraps because you liked them so much. You did. I did, didn't I? No, you didn't. You had the bath with the... Turkey stuffing turkey and gravy. Stuffing and, that gravy was and, and where, what couldn't I get? Couldn't get a Remy anywhere. No. Oh, bless. <laughs> Poor guy. Poor guy. You have got... Hey, so, <coughs> someone in the bar drank 50 quid's worth of uh, 
Soberano last night. You'd be proud. Ooh, proper, you proper, proper Soberano brandy, you know. On it. Yeah, Soberano. Soberano with Coke. Well, yeah, you'd have to put Coke with it, to be honest with yeah. you. You ain't going to drink that. Go and ask your business target, blow in a gale. You've got a hat. You yeah. look ridiculous in it, but you've still... Well, I've got to confirm. I left my hat, my snood and my gloves here, and I need to find where they are. Well, I've got your coat out. Right. Um, and you've also got the snood... That he bought me. Don't know where that is. That Andrew... You know, yeah, mine's here somewhere and all. We'll dig it all out the more. That Andrew got you from his favourite shop. Mm. Oh my word! You know the massive oh, Tony yeah. Romas in Fanny Bay. Yeah. yeah. On the, yeah, you know, along from Luma. Yeah, yeah. Well, it closed, didn't it? It's now a massive alley off with three cows outside. Like we needed another the one. one. That we commented on by the No, service, no, right? no, an even bigger one in Fanny Bay on the back of the beachfront. <laughs> on the back of the beachfront, there's three That's cows out of it. It's that it big. Is, it is How many cows you need to call a herd? I want to know who owns Alley Op and what the deal is. Why do you need like 15 shops on one island? And why do the council just keep letting them do it and all? How many chain shops do you need? There's one every like 10 yards at this rate. Yeah. I don't get it. Mm. And all it does is how many so, so how many remote control poos and whoopee cushions she and silly pens do you need? And... I just don't get it. It's just ruining the island for me. I don't I really don't get it. Well at least the shops are nice and clean and air con when you go in to be fair. Oh great, they're yeah. Oh more, they're more they're then they are full of rubbish. Oh more, yeah. Give me more of those what we used to call the magic shop. Yeah, the, the more individual happy. shops, yeah. not just chains of With the same mass-produced Chinese yeah. junk. Yeah. Aye. Well, that's that's all it is. is. They are everywhere now. Yeah. I don't, I'm, I don't know how many you need. It's not, it's not even just one in each town. It's like multiple in each town. Yeah. Crazy. Well, Koala Bay as well. They are over the shelf. Yeah. But as you say, the island is round, so they're all... Oh, the, the demand for cheap pens and books and whoopee cushions is through the roof. <laughs> That's why they've had to open more. I it's did, just that I did, busy. I did want a whoopee cushion for the plane. You know and then I mean? the, the, the demand for... Ca- you don't for the, need the, whoopee cushions. You don't need from, it. The, toilet the demand for cow selfies. They've had to put three outside it now because it's a queue for just one. Have they got a Christmas hat on it? Uh, yeah. yeah. The, well, there was on the one in the airport. Christmas scarf for flash for flashing. Oh, one quick question. Oh, right. Did, did Sweep fly home with you because he's booked in for an assessment next week? He was gonna fly <laughs> home with me. Turned away at the gate. Pass, <laughs> passport issues. Oh, oh no! You're joking! Well, I've got him a consultation. He was well, fuming. He won't match the picture, will he? He was getting no. scanned in, he was ready to be stamped on that Brexit oh, stamp. Of course, yeah. And then they, they dragged him away. Oh. And that was it, I didn't get to see him again, that was it then. Guardia Seville whisked him off. Or something. What? Yeah, I don't know whether he's rabies free. Do you know after the what happened in Veronica's anything could have yeah, you know what I mean? rabies, Well, something. I haven't seen him since. Guardia Seville t- carted him off. Poor fella, with a dodgy passport. There isn't dodgy. You know, you put the, he just doesn't look you like You know when you put the passport in the scanner? Yeah, yeah. It just kept coming up with a big red X. <laughs> and then that was then the Guardia Seville came over. <laughs> Hola, <Yeah>. senor. <laughs> and that was it. I never saw it. Like, private consultation. <laughs> what was he doing? Like, in a couple of weeks. He was just squeaking and squeaking, and <laughs> eventually the squeaking went away. That was it? I couldn't hear the squeaking anymore after a while. So, right, oh, this week God. I'm on to that. He needs a new photo to get him here, but then his photo won't match when I get him fixed over here. It's costing an arm and a leg for this private clinic, so I've got to cancel that tomorrow. I'm well, you'll have here. to get in touch with him, see if he can make it on another flight tomorrow. Yeah. There's a Ryanair. I'm sure they'll understand. Once he explains. He is fully booked right. in. Wednesday, Thursday, I think it is. Mm. He's not in a good way, is he? Yeah. <laughs> I hope he had a bit, a bit of cash on him to, you know, make some arrangements <laughs> to get over. Do you have in the op in January? Op in January, yeah. Yeah, all right. fixed up. Can I just ask, is this tea is ever going to be made happened? like? Well, you've kept me talking. It's been like yeah. 16 minutes, this clip is. I'm going I'm, to... I'm, I'm mixing 
Pluto with Mickey. I'm going to have a coffee and oh, watch no, no, Emma no, Dale no. till yeah. two in the morning. Emma Dale and Coronation Street. Till two a.m. Mm. And then I won't be able to get up for the Starbucks because I'll be tired. <laughs> Because I drank coffee at 11 p.m. Coffee doesn't keep me awake. No, oh, you're not. I'm usually Absolutely not. Shattered. Nothing keeps me awake. Oh no. Crazy. Now, guys, how long do you let that brew for? There's two tea bags. They're big mugs. Sure, I've only ordered half a tea. Hey, you do. They're big mugs, then. Yeah. Made by made by the, another pig yeah, mug. Made the mug that Jamie <laughs> picked up from the airport. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I've got one question. Where's my coffee? Oh, there's no way. Oh, oh, the worst nightmare, that, when you haven't done enough water. You've got to start messing around, boiling it again now, look. Don't leave it over there. Right. Take your time. I think there's enough water in there this time. And you want proper sugar. You shouldn't be having proper sugar. I have one small proper sugar. Oh, that, yeah, that's enough. Oh, that's a big scoop there. Big mug. That's enough, yeah. That's all I need. I mean, I normally put it in with the milk, like. Well, the, the tea bag's full of sugar now. No, no, the, the sugar dissolves. Half my sugar's gone no, in the tea you bag. Say, don't teach me how to make tea. It's like teaching me to make mellow birds. I know what I'm doing. Right. Right? Now, when your sugar's over dissolved, yeah. then we'll put the tea bags out. And now we'll you've just put a sugary spoon in your sweetenery tea. And I want it sweet. Are you attacking these sausage rolls? Um, I don't know, it's a bit late, isn't it? Quarter past eleven. Oh, you're bound to have indigestion. Oh. No, that's all right. See, proper milk, proper British milk from the milkman in a glass. How Dump. many of you have Hand delivered this morning. How answers, many still support the milkman? In the comments below, who still has a milkman? More expensive, but keeps has, people in the job as a proper, we, we proper traditional. He's, he comes round at four in the morning, mind. Yeah, exactly, it's good to give him a bit of support. I mean, I didn't want half a pint of milk in my tea, like. How <laughs> much just, milk have you just put in it? It's a big cup. It's a Pluto. Jeez. Right, here we go. Couldn't have you behind the bar. That's one heavy pour, that. <laughs> half a pint's gone already. Look at that. Jeez, guys. Some mornings are rough. I think all mornings are rough for you. <laughs> Trying to read some mornings are rough. Last yeah, week but, after my birthday. Yeah, but at least you can go and have a breakfast down the road, can't you? Oh, yeah, just pop down and have a nice English well, breakfast. You can in Tenerife, not here. Yeah, you can't, yeah. Isn't it weird that you can't get an English breakfast no, in England, no but you can get one in Tenerife dead easy? To do your sausage, eggs, bacon, tomato, and all the rest. No way. I've got a little mm. blast from the past. Oh, my word, they are a blast from the past, oh, them, aren't they? He was mine, Tigger, wasn't he? Yeah, he hung on the door, he was all fluffy. Yeah. Where is it? Where are they going? You're not, Wait, put, you're not no, putting no. them on eBay. No. no. Your little nephew. Going on Jude's door. Jude's door. Nice. Actually, they're, not, they're not leaving the house, don't worry. I don't know where his thingy is. Ah, see, he's lost his toggle. They'll have to come home with me. We found them at the... Oh, they've been tucked away somewhere, haven't they? Mum's given them a wash. And they've come up brand new. Mm -hmm. Tigger and Pooh. He loves them as well. You nice. can take one home with you if you want. Which one did you have on your door? Both. No, just Tigger. Just Tigger. <laughs> oh, I don't know what, there's all kinds getting snaffled from the loft here, just getting whisked away, you know. Yeah. Oh, all my toys and everything are gone. Yeah, that, that was it. Take him home with you. Nice. Take him home with you. It's still nice and fluffy though. They're good quality them oh, compared yeah. to the rubbish you get now. Where I got them from. Look, the, even the arms on the look. Yeah. Oh yeah. They're really, really good. The thing with them was, yeah, you were so yeah. spoilt, they were never big enough for all the presents you got. They were like extras on the door, weren't they? They used <laughs> to put, um, I know it used to, one of the first things that used to go in them Selection on our doors. Box. No, no, it wasn't. I'll tell you what it was. Do you know what it was, Mum? Coins. Gold coins, yeah. <laughs> M&S Christmas gold chocolate coins. They'd be right in there. I'd just put my hand straight to the bottom for them. They'd be gone by half seven. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was Sarah's. Really, that was Sarah's, and they, that was Catherine, mine and Catherine's. That, you're yeah. welcome to take that one and hang it up. See if Santa fills your stocking. I'd put tangerines in it though, and apples and bananas. Oh, sure, you would. Sure, you would. Well, you never know. Santa might visit if I put it out. Yeah. You never know.
Oh, oh, that was nice. Never washed for us, was it? We used to have them like stinking of the loft and oh, everything. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Away from now, us. now your grandson's so here, it's like, uh, you know. He's so bad, he's on two words. One thou must wash, <laughs> thou, uh, thou stocking. <laughs> you oh, were right. so spoiled. They must have cost a fortune in their day. They are proper Disney, yeah, them as well. Yeah. Proper good quality, not, not the cheapo stuff they sell now. Yeah. Everything's so. Yeah, indeed. Indeed. Right, I'm going to round off. I've done 22 minutes of waffling here in this kitchen. <laughs> no, it's not called a podcast. That's not what it's, it's called. It's a coffee podcast. podcast. It's we've, not we've really a podcast, We've looked at Christmas, we've looked at diets and food and, you know. Why are mm. we making this all? Diets and food, yeah, with a big <laughs> box of Bud Light behind you. I like that. <laughs> That's going in the cooler. Right. It's not to be opened yet, but it's certainly not open tonight. We're sticking to tea because we're on coffee in the morning. Right. I want to get up with a clear head. So you can put them in your suitcase. I don't know whether that's going to happen, but it'd be nice to see. They all, you have to have a look what they sell for on eBay. Does it do? Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh my god. <laughs> the <laughs> thing about tickets is. is Tiggers like to bounce. No. Tiggers like to bounce. No. Tiggers like to bounce. <laughs> I'm the only one. I'm the one. Woohoo! <laughs> right. <laughs> On that note. On that note. <laughs> I'm tuning out. I look like I'm in between selling someone a house and going to yeah, the gym. You do. You look like... I'm like a bit of a mix here. <laughs> you look like what's his name? Oh, what's it called? Auctions, houses up for auction or whatever it's called. Oh, um, what's the, what's the one where they do them up? With oh, the, it's the, on every The house morning. program where they do them up, and oh. the guy was an owl. Under, under the, the hammer. Under the hammer, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to come and see the gong? The gong? Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll close the off. The gong, gong comes on to close off the vault. Yeah, yeah, go on. I'll, put, I'll do the gong tomorrow. Can't yes, I? we'll do yeah. the gong tomorrow. What's up with your coat? Nothing's up with my coat, man. You look like uncomfortable. Because I'm like half gym, half about to yeah. sell a property, yeah, aren't I? Oh, oh, do you like this Kia Sportage there? It's only done 30,000 miles in 10 years. <laughs> How about that? Wouldn't it be a great deal? Trade in your old electric car. I wouldn't touch a Kia, I'm afraid. <laughs> Not after my last one blew up. Yeah, 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 yeah that's one up. blew up, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> There's one other thing I need to do. I need to op yeah. open my flap. Oh, yeah. I, yes. what? <laughs> you want to care what you say? <laughs> Right, thank you all very much for watching. Do make sure you hit the subscribe. We've got some vlogs coming from the, from Liverpool and uh, also some vlogs coming from London as well. So do make sure you check those out. Do please hit the thumbs up. Let me know what your thoughts of Tannery Fairport, Bedlam. Um, and let me know if you use a milkman as well. Yes, we want to know who still has a milkman. Or do you support the... Uh, and who remembers, here's the other one. Comments down talking? below. Who remembers Sterry Milk in a Bottle? Yeah? and full cream jersey milk with a gold top. Right. Yeah, I'd love to hear some well, of your My arm's getting that. sore here, I'm <laughs> gonna have to go. Thank you very much for watching. Do please hit the thumbs up and uh, stride on. We'll see if he makes it to coffee in the morning. I'll make are, it. Are you nearly done? <laughs> I've got a... This <laughs> road is that I've got a three bed semi to sell down the road here. Guys, they're walking ready, out there. He nearly bought the sport time. They're ready to make an offer. Oh, no, I'll let you go. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. See you. Bye.